Hello everyone. Eh, hey, if you ask me oh, who will I ask, is the, the, the title that I put is where I saw it, was the headline that I saw it, and I'm going to read it. Now. I've not even read it before. I'm going to read it now. So, me, I don't even know anything about this, but hey, this is what I'm seeing. Where it happened, when it's happening, I don't know. Not before my mother will hear such a good read election. Uh, this is coming from Sahara Reporters, and I've also seen other uh, new, uh, newspapers that have carried this. It says, Atiku Obi Kwanko, so Erufai, planning merger ahead of 2027 presidential election to remove Tinibu, says PDP. According to the PDP spokesperson, the three opposition candidates in the last presidential election uh, for the Atiku uh, Abubakar, Labour Party, Peter B., and the new Nigeria's People Party, NNPP, Rabi Okonkoso, we put personal interests aside to work towards defeating the ruling APC and uh, Bola Tinibu in 2027. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has revealed that candidates of three strong opposition parties in Nigeria are planning to form a merger to unseat the ruling all uh, progressive Congress ahead of the general polls of 2027. This was disclosed by the spokesman for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Ibrahim Abdullahi, in an interview with Channel's television on Monday, 2nd uh, September. That was yesterday. According to the PDP spokesman, the three opposition candidates in the last presidential election for the, uh, uh, for the in the last presidential ele election, Atiku Abubakar, PDP, uh, Peter Obi Labour Party, and Kwankwaso, New Nigeria's People's Party, will put personal interests aside to work towards defeating, uh, but you know one thing I always have with Sahara reporters, they will repeat the same sentence. I thought I just read that just now. He added that the party's past leadership ma managed differences and party conflicts as well. PDP chiefs like former River State Governor Yeso Wiki, Kwankwaso, and Peter Obi will still be members of the PDP, and the party would have defeated Bola Tinibu in the last uh, election. Maybe it's, it meant they didn't manage. I think the, the person writing this got something wrong. They didn't manage it well. I mean, that last election was PDPs to win. I remember when people were even going to Guam. People did protest to, to PDP and said, give us Peter B. You clearly saw there was a need for a shift. In 2021, I did one long trade. I always say this. In the trade, you see, that if you go on, on, on my ex handle, my formerly known as Twitter, I did a long trade to tell PDP, look, there is a yearning. Younger people are yearning. After 2020 protests, that ends as protests, where, you know, a soldiers killed protesters. It changed. The, the, there was a paradigm shift. It changed the narrative. And so, as expected, you, you know, PDP did nothing. As it was like, young people are yearning, look for women, look for young people that we had the opposition. Revamp yourself, put these people forward, uh, Peter B and uh, Frank Weke Jr. Retire them, Atiku, Bukola, Saraki, and all of that. I even say that Atiku can always move to any party anyways. But yet, PTB, PDP, I just don't know. One party that is so... I don't even know when it comes to lack of strategy, everything is that P is that PDP. Even 2015 election, PDP were the ones that ended they, they ended up losing that the election themselves. I always say Buhari did not win the 2015 uh, election. It was uh, Jonathan that lost it. It was theirs to win, but their arrogance and belief that nobody can remove them. 50 years they will be in power, nothing can be done. That was what led to PDP's failure. To the extent that they lost five governors. How do you lose five governors over something that was nothing? Over who becomes the the uh governor uh what did the chairman of the governor's forum what was the uh what's his name what was jonathan's business with governor's forum what was this thing i at this person i met she had clearly won that thing they did chaka 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 to put jo jonah jang that was when was it uh, the numbers 12 was greater than 15 i mean what was it that that drama that was done all of that uh, infuriated a lot of people to the extent that he lost five Five governors, they were the ones that now entered APC and gave APC that hope, a uh, 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 power they were able to have to do things. But it's the same arrogance that PDP has constantly, you know, uh, continued with. But anyway, sir, he said, when asked if the PDP was trying to get Obi Kwankoso, Wiki, and others back to the party, I thought Wiki was still in the party. Abdullah said, we've lost Kwankoso, we've lost Peter B. All of these people, imagine if they were in the party, would have gone to win the election. This APC uh, said they defeated us with one million plus votes, just one of these names that I mentioned, 
would have covered that gap for us and would have been in power today and certainly Nigerians would not have been confronted with this despair and despondency in the lie. It's a lie. As long as you don't change your ways, Nigeria will still be confronted with what's and that. We need to, it's the criminal, there are the criminality, uh, structure of criminality that needs to be tweaked. There's no difference between APC and PDP. The same people, if PDP were to win today, they will all shift and go there and continue the same bad governance they are doing. There needs to be a revamp, revamp everything and begin to actually give that good governance that Nigerians are looking for. Sure, he said, discussions is ongoing. You see Peter B discussing with article. You see Peter B meeting Nancy the Erufai. Okay. Party management is a very difficult thing and we are doing the best in the quagmire that we have found ourselves. Rest assured there would be light at the end of the tunnel. He said, we have learned our lessons in the Peter. I don't think they have learned their lessons. So one of them will concede for the other. Then we would have direction. Our concern as a party and to the people that I've mentioned is to ensure that we salvage Nigerians from the despair and despondency between maladies of hunger and frightening insecurity in the land. You could see cluelessness and ineptitude on the part of these people managing the country. Meanwhile, the African Action Congress presidential uh, candidate in the 2023 general election, Omoy Yele Showale, had said he would not join any alliances proposed by Atiku, Obi, and Concourse. And one thing we show is that he has never joined any alliances. He has always said that he's the only one that can do it. I remember 2019 election when they had, oh, there was something that they had oh, during the, the uh, Kisi Mogalo, then those, these people, all those alternative candidates, they came together that let them choose one person. Uh, Showale refused to be part of it. So it's not just Atiku Obi and Koko so that he say he's, he, he's not part of it. He said that he did not crave Peter Obi's supporters and did not wish to be packaged and sold to the public as someone else. And I think in this uh, this write-up there, this person, he didn't mention Showare. He only mentioned them, Kwankwe uh, uh, So, uh Peter Obi and Atiku. So I don't know why Showare is coming in here now. Why they put him here? But maybe they asked him a question or something. He said that uh, Showare said I've been very clear about it. There are there are no de two definitions of revolution. A revolution is an event or a series of events that put an end to a system of oppression. So our revolution is the same revolution that's happened elsewhere, where people rise up and say enough is enough. They want to move in a different direction. They want a different trajectory in governance. And the only difference in our case is that we would not organize a revolution that would be bloody. We wanted it to be by civil means, and that is... So I'm, I'm actually surprised. Uh, so I'm looking at it and wondering why did that conversation and this show where a conversation come in? Is this because I had a report? Because it's almost as if it's two different stories that they are now merging. The other one, he's now talking about his own uh, revolution and what he wants, a minimum way. Things. I'm, I'm one of the first partisan politicians who has put his ideology in writing, he said, and I have a website and social media handles where I espouse this ideology. I speak openly on YouTube videos explaining where I sat and they are not in any way related to APC and PDP. So I get that. I support the minimum wage, but I call it a living wage. In 2018, I said it was 100,000 people were mocking me. Now I've been vindicated. Uh, so I'm blatantly welfareist. I support the welfare of the public, the Nigerian people from the standpoint of socialist Democrats. So I can, I lead towards socialism that whatever is the people's where should go directly uh, to the, but anyway, here it is. And uh, let's keep at uh, if you ask me who will I ask, they say that there's major going on. So let's watch. Thank you for watching. Bye.